So we got a good question the other day, one that I don't think we've answered in a video clip before, and it was from a woman. I get this one all the time. You, know? you do? You do? Okay. She wanted to know what should she do if she's in a sexless marriage and she wants sex. Uh -huh. I was in one. And right now I don't have a partner and I am not sexless at all. What do you think I'm doing? Hmm. Could you be masturbating at B? Three times a week. Well, in fantasy, you know, you fantasize, you get a new sex toy, you get a new dildo. <laughs> There's nothing I like better than to have a Sunday afternoon all to myself. No company, the phone isn't ringing, and I am masturbating. And you get to do this, this edging where you make it last as long as you get you right in front of an orgasm and then you pull, pull back. back. You, t you take the vibrator off your clit. And then you then go, go up back. again yeah. and you pull back. And, and you do that several times. If I can make it five times, wow. You know, I can't imagine not masturbating. And I'm married and we're, we have regular sex. And you still are masturbating. Because it's like how I create sexual desire. It's how I keep my sexual self whole so that I'm ready to be with a partner. Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, you know, they say if, if you're a dancer... You're dancing all the time. If you're an artist, you're drawing all the time. If you're going to be sexual, you have sex all the time. And the other person isn't always available, but you're available for yourself. So the choice is stay, be a self-sexual. Is this person your companion, the father or mother of your children? Does it work? Like if the relationship's working and you just want sex, either you stay in it and you masturbate or you open the relationship. Well, this is the whole point. I mean, after a certain length of time, it's going to be sort of like, I want something different. Well, you'll see, you'll meet someone, and it's the energy. You want to pass back and forth yes. the energy. You'll now, be flirting. And that should not end the marriage. No, no, but you have to be honest about it. And I have to say, if that person doesn't want to have sex, it's probably bothering them because they know, like, the anniversary, you know, every couple of months they're going to have to put out, and they don't want to. For whatever reason, they're asexual, or maybe they have their own little self-sexual thing they're doing on the I side. have another theory. What? Women are more sexual than men, and that men are f a ter my In my situation, my husband was not good at sex. Poor baby. And he didn't want to have sex with anybody else. And I was mm. good at sex, and I did want to have sex with somebody else. So what do you do in that case? Well, we had to get a divorce. Well, before the divorce, he came home and he said, Honey, <laughs> I'm going to take up golf. And you said, Honey, I'm going to take up sex. And that started the conversation. And we did take a vacation. So my first thought was, and this is way back in the 60s, we'll take separate vacations. Ooh, travel sex is always hot, too. <laughs> and as, as, as I'm traveling, I get to have sex with someone. And as he stays, as he stays home, then he does too. And then reverse, when he travels, he gets to have sex. And when I stay you home, You have your I, little trysts. So when we're separate, that we can each have a sexual experience. So mm -hmm. I went to Canada. I had fabulous sex with a French Canadian. And I came home. And he brought a girl home, uh, one of the women from his office. Of and course, the men always do it. <laughs> where they eat, they shit where they eat. <laughs> <laughs> they shit where they eat. And so, and she's sitting in our living room looking around, and she says, well, who do all these paintings? And he said, my wife. And then he starts talking about his wife. Oh, that's a uh, uh, cock block. I mean, <laughs> after that, who wants to be second best? And he couldn't get an erection, and she wasn't interested, and the whole thing fell through. Yeah, I would say a hotel. But that there's all kinds of non-monogamy and things that you can talk about. And I would imagine if the person doesn't want to have sex with your partner, you saying, I think I'm going to have sex with other people and take the pressure off because you're pressuring them. I would think that would be a relief. Well, and normally it would. But I think men are very insecure, much more so than women. And mm -hmm. that he was worried about I, of my leaving him. Which, I mean, if we had sex outside of the marriage, I would have stayed much longer. I was going to say that. I was just going to say, if you don't have sex outside the marriage, it will divorce. It, yeah, it will divorce. And in other words, it's the only mm -hmm. solution will be a divorce. Or they give up on sex altogether. And I wasn't about to I do that. I can't imagine not being sexual. And I know that as many people are as hypersexual or asexual, 
but I can't myself <laughs> as what I think is above average, but not crazy, but not being sexual and not having orgasms. I masturbate right before I take Grace into the park. And when we go to the park, I'm so relaxed. Uh -huh. uh, we play, we have a good time. I grab some coffee. I'm a better mom. Yeah. Uh, you can't go to sleep. So what do you do? You masturbate. You don't take a sleeping pill and you have a better sleep. If you, if you have a project that you're working on and you get stuck, you stop and masturbate and you solve the problem. I did that all the time as an artist. It's the source of our creativity. <laughs> so if you don't want to be creative, you don't want to live an authentic life, then scrape it off your plate. And just say, I'm going to not be sexual. Yeah, but it sounds like you want to be sexual. So grow the clit, sit your partner down, <laughs> have a talk, <laughs> and say, look, honey. Why don't we take one weekend off a month and do what we want? And the other rules of monogamy are off. And yeah. then we can talk about it? I bet you start having sex more. Yes. yes because yes. then if you'd be like, you could be having sex and then talking about the sex you would have with people. Super hot. Super hot. So I went into this bar and I was looking at this guy and he's looking at me and we started this conversation. I mm. went up to his room and mm, then we... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Sex begets more sex. You always say that. Sex begets more sex. So you either give up on sex or you negotiate something that works for both of you or you get apart. Now, those are the three. That's it. Most people give up on the sex, which is too bad. It's just not, not a good way to go. So discuss it. Yeah. Talk I about mean, sex. Yeah. <laughs> and they could actually masturbate together and have fantasies of what they could do. Endless. Be creative. Will you please be creative when it comes to sex? It's just not that old monogamy and, you know, one-on-one -on -one and same old same. <sighs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. At least you're having a relationship with yourself and maybe someone else. But be creative. Think about it.